Good morning, my dear children. Welcome back to your grammar class. So, in your previous class, I sent an assignment regarding the parts of speech. Okay, did, did you all collect it? So, you please check it, my dear children. And uh, today, I'm going to start a new chapter. In my previous class, I told that today I'm going to teach the parts of speech. But the next day, I'm going to teach you the other chapter of your unit test, that is the W H family. I told you all. Okay, so this is the lesson today I'm going to discuss with you. So, all of you, my dear children, open your grammar book. Open your grammar book to page number fifteen. So, so what are W H words? Many interrogative sentences start with W H letters, such as when, where, what, which, who, why, how. So this sentence, this words, you notice one thing. W H. Why it is called? Because this interrogative words, these words are known as interrogative words. This starts with the letter W H. So it is called the W H words or question framing words. So these words are also called as question framing words. Okay. So these are the W H words. So many interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences means the sentences which has a question mark at the end okay it ask questions so these are called the interrogative sentences in your previous class i think so i discussed this topic with you so now let's go on with the lesson we use helping ver verbs such as is am are have to to make the wh questions so again we use the helping verbs which are the helping verbs those are is am are have do all these things are the helping verbs we use with this wh words to make questions okay suppose what is your name so you see the uh, uh, interrogative word what with what you find the helping verb is what is your name okay so my name is john so my name is not john but here in the book it's given over there so i'm dictating uh, the answers to you Why was the dog barking? Why was the dog barking? Here also you see the W H word that is why, and it is followed by was W A S was. Okay, so this was is also a supporting or the helping verb. Okay, the dog was hungry. Where do you live? So you see this words is am are have do is always is always using these words to with the W H words to make questions to frame questions. and the helping verbs comes before the subject and before the subject you can see in the sentence this helping verbs are coming to form questions where is the boy with the hat he is in the garden so you see where and is okay so which is your classroom you see the supporting verb and the wh word how was the birthday party last night you see the wh words though it is not starting with w and h it's how but still it is also called the all the wh word and you see over here it's also having the was after that it's having the was it's a helping verb or the supporting verb who are those two girls see again who 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 and are those two girls those two girls are nitu and geeta when is the next holiday the next holiday is on friday whose book is this it is vivek so you can see very nicely over here that whenever you are getting the wh word okay you are having the next word to it that is the helping verb okay is am are do then we are going to the exercise all of you open to page number 15 you can see it's page number 15 the wh words so all of you now go to the exercise where are you going i'm going to school i wrote this answers whatever came in my mind i wrote the answers according to that Where are you going? I'm going to school. Whose house is this? This is Mr. Sham's house. So you can even you can write the answers by your own, but it should be correct. But it should be correct. Who did you give my book to? I gave your book to Ria. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor when I grow up. So you can be an engineer. You want to be a teacher. So whatever you like to be. it is not that miss wrote my ma'am wrote this in the assignment i have to write this only the answers no try to write it yourself make the answers a different one i like it 
okay make the answers a different one i like it don't copy whatever i am writing over there don't copy all those things when a question may have a number of answers i want to see the number of answers my students are writing on their book okay i want to see it why are they going to shimla they are going to shimla to meet their grandparents you can write they are going to shimla to meet their uncle they are going to shimla to meet their friends so whatever you find correct according to your opinion you can write that now the next next page all of you turn your page to page number 16 okay then when do you go to school i go to school in the morning quite natural where is he playing he is playing in the park you can write he is playing in the garden that also you can write or he is playing in the playground that also you can write which country do you live in here it is all are having the same answer i live in india then what is the name of your class teacher the name of my class teacher is you know the class teacher's name you are in class 4 so it is your emily ma'am she is your class teacher you have to write it over there which one of you has a ball okay so leela has a ball someone or leela has a ball someone or sheila has a ball someone or ramu has a ball so it depends what your answer will be who is the principal of your school over here the answer will be say mrs indrani mukherjee is the principal of our school so it is a rector ma'am's name what day of the week is today today is today is monday so you write over the today is monday which is your favorite color pink is my favorite color it can be red it can be blue so it depends when do you go to bed at night i go to bed at 10 o'clock in the night so at 10 o'clock you may go to bed you may go to bed at 9:30 maybe at 11 o'clock but small children it's better you go to bed at at 9:30 to 10 between this time you should go to bed why are you speaking loudly i was speaking loudly because i was angry so i wrote this so when a person becomes very angry the person shouts okay so this came in my mind i wrote like this you may uh, you may whatever comes in your mind you can write that but it should be correct now b frame questions for these answers the question word is uh, in brackets will help you one is done for you anshita is learning to play the piano so you have to frame the question with what so what is anshita learning what is anshita learning the train is on the yamuna bridge where where is the train i will visit the taj mahal next week when when will you visit the taj mahal you play cricket and badminton what do you play so the uh, the words the wh words are given in brackets and with those words with the help of the supporting verb or the helping verb you have to frame the interrogative sentence out of it <coughs> excuse me so like this you have to do i was born in pune where where were you born this is mira's dress whose dress is this my birthday is on 11th november when is your birthday so like this <coughs> with the help of the supporting verb and the help of the wh word this is how you construct an interrogative sentence so please my dear children you do it yourself try to do the exercise yourself it's very easy do it yourself and you please collect this in your assignment okay and do it in your book do it in your book itself with a pencil <coughs> do it in the book itself with a pencil and use an eraser okay you will not write with a pen you will not write with a pen and the two rules you have to remember how you use the interrogative sentence which are the wh letters which are the wh words and which verbs are used over here and what comes before the subject to frame a sentence that the sub, the helping verbs comes before the subject i may give the fill in the blanks also like this because here no definitions are given so i can, but you should know the rules very nicely so when i frame the question it may happen that i can give in the fill in the blanks form so all of you whatever is given over there the inter introductory part of this of the chapter whatever is given over there you should learn it very nicely so these are the rules of grammar so these are the two rules of grammar how to make the wh sentence is the the interrogative sentence how you have to make okay so these are the rules you have to follow so my dear children i think so all of you can do this yourself it's very very easy 
So first you have to remember the WH word, then the supporting verb, then you go for the subject. Okay, my dear children, it's clear to you now. Hmm? I suppose, and you will see that if you keep this in mind, you will not go wrong with the interrogative sentences. You can frame the sentences by your own. The interrogative sentences you can frame by your own. And at the last, don't forget to give the question mark. The interrogative marks, don't forget to give. Okay, if you don't give the the interrogative marks or the question mark at the end of the sentence, then no one will know that what sentence it is. It will look like a statement, not like an interrogative sentence. So at the last, you have to give an inter interrogative marks, okay? Or the question mark you have to give at the end. Okay, so this is what, it's a short chapter. The chapter is very easy. And I selected the chapter for you because when you can write the answers very nicely, but when the time comes to frame the question out of it my children goes wrong so you should know this very nicely the two rules it's very easy wh word and then what supporting verb okay or the helping verb then go for the sentence and you can do it correctly okay so please practice this page very nicely so do number do page number 15 16 17 the exercises you will do over here okay the exercises you will do over here 15 16 17 and of course this is your homework. This is your homework. And when I will send the same thing in your, the correct thing in your assignment, you just check your work, okay? Just check it, check your work because for the pandemic situation, it's not possible for us to go to school and check all those books and copies. You see the assignment and check it from there, okay? The chapter is very short. It's a very easy one. Only the two rules you have to remember. So my dear children, we'll meet in the next class. Stay safe in your house and prepare your lessons well.